Hello everyone, my name is Randomly, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add audio to your avatar correctly. Yeah, like he said. So yes, like I said, I'm going to teach you guys how to add audio to your avatar correctly. This is going to be a short tutorial which I'm going to show you guys many methods of creating special effects, audio, and recording, and also prevent mistakes a lot of people do, including myself in the past. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. Now before we start with Unity, let's talk about how to get audio. If you guys already have that sorted out, go ahead and skip to the next chapter. Now for those that don't have a clue of getting audio into Unity, then check out all the links I listed below in the description. The programs I use is Soundpad, which you can get on Steam, and Sony Vegas to edit my audio. But if you guys don't want to spend money, you can also get Audacity to edit your audio, and you can also go to this website of YouTube MP3 Converter. Just be aware that there are pop-ups, so don't accidentally click on something. Once you guys got your audio all sorted out, we can finally get started. Now I'm just going to show you guys the settings of what I use every single time for all my avatars, so pay close attention. I'm just going to use this audio sample that I recorded, and click it on one time to open its settings. Make sure that load in background is checked on and click apply. This is very crucial that this is checked on. What this does is that the audio clip will be loading in the background without causing any stalls on the main thread. Just in case if you were to add a toggle to your audio, it could go into a state of limbo, which could cause glitching and stuttering if you have it checked off. You won't be able to hear it, but other people will. Next, go in your hierarchy and add an audio source wherever you want. For the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to add it on my head. Drag your audio in your audio clip, set the priority to 1, spatial blend to 1, volume roll off to linear roll off, minimum maximum distance however you want, add a component and search for VRC spatial audio source, set the gain and far the same as minimum and maximum distance, and click on advanced options and click on audio source volume curve. Now let's go over why I have these settings. Priority is set to 1 because if you have it set to 0, that means your audio will be number 1 priority, which could cancel out other people's audio, including worlds. Spatial blend is set to 1 because it creates a 3-dimensional audio sound depending where others are standing, if the sound is either the left or the right ear. Having it set to 0 that if the audio is playing, and as soon as that is out of my viewpoint, the audio immediately cuts off. Now, linear roll-off is just a simple way to cut the audio off, depending on how far the players are standing from you. And minimum and maximum distance just to adjust how far or how close some people can hear your audio. Now, don't make this mistake like this, for example. Think of audio traveling from left to right. And we need to catch that audio with our red line. If the line is cut off, sound is escaping and causes world audio. So be aware because I did make this mistake before. Whoops. Finally, adding a VRC spatial audio source is just to help boost your audio to make it much more rich. Technically, you don't need this feature, but I do like to add it anyways because it makes my audio sound crystal clear. As for the other settings, I'm going to go through them real quick for you guys to understand how they work. Mute is obvious. If you have this toggled, the audio will still play through, muted or not. The audio will play over and over if you have this set to loop. You can control how loud or quiet your audio will be. As for the pitch setting, this one is very interesting. It's almost like a setting to fast forward or rewind your audio. Stereo pan, you can control how the audio will play from either your left or your right ear specifically. For the other settings that I left out, I'm not exactly sure how they work or what's the difference of for the audio. But if you guys like to mess around, you can try them out and tell me how they sound, probably because I have some earwax. So hopefully this will help you guys out for your audio. And if you guys have any questions or any other tutorials that you want me to do, let me know in the comments below. My name is Randomly, and like always, keep smiling for me.